For the first time in history, we collected samples from an asteroid and took them back to Earth. It was named Bennu, a carbonaceous near-Earth asteroid. We have been to an asteroid before, but none of them came back with samples. You must have seen this footage before from the OSIRIS-REx mission that captured dust from an asteroid. Well, it was a three-year journey for the spacecraft to return to Earth. Now scientists can study the secrets of Bennu. Bennu is a carbon-rich asteroid about one-third of a mile, half a kilometer wide at its equator. An ancient relic of our solar system's early days, asteroid Bennu has seen more than 4.5 billion years of history. Scientists think that within 10 million years of our solar system's formation, Bennu's present-day composition was already established. Bennu likely broke off from a much larger carbon-rich asteroid about 700 million to 2 billion years ago. It likely formed in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and has drifted much closer to Earth since then. Because its materials are so old, Bennu may contain organic molecules similar to those that could have been involved with the start of life on Earth. Bennu's average orbital distance from the Sun is about 105 million miles, which is only slightly farther than Earth's average orbital distance of 93 million miles. Also, this asteroid is likely to hit Earth in the future. There are one S in a 2,000 chance it could collide with Earth and destroy every living being on the planet. That's why NASA is also on a project to divert this asteroid before it hits. OSIRIS-REx was the third major planetary science mission for NASA's New Frontiers program. OSIRIS-REx is an acronym for Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, and Security Regolith Explorer. The goal of the mission was to collect a sample from near-Earth asteroid 101955 Bennu and then bring the sample to Earth. The mission, developed by scientists at the University of Arizona, will give us more information about how the early solar system formed and how life began. It will also help us better understand asteroids that could impact Earth in the future. OSIRIS-REx was named after the Egyptian god Osiris, possibly because Osiris is believed to have been one of the first pharaohs in Egyptian mythology. This connection adds a fascinating layer of intrigue to the mission. Rex for Regolith Explorer was tacked on later. Rex means king in Latin. Bennu is made from the material left over when the planets formed over 4.5 billion years ago. By collecting a sample of this ancient, pristine material and bringing it back to laboratories on Earth, we hope to provide answers to many questions. It was launched on September 8, 2016 from Cape Canaveral, Florida, and began its journey towards Bennu. The spacecraft captured its first glimpse of Bennu in August 2018, transmitting a grainy image taken from a distance of about 1.4 million miles, 2.3 million kilometers. In early November 2018, OSIRIS-REx sent back detailed images, revealing the asteroid's shape and some of its surface features. Upon arriving at Bennu on December 3, 2018, OSIRIS-REx meticulously mapped the asteroid while the mission team scouted for a safe site to collect samples. One of the major challenges was Bennu's exceedingly rocky surface, riddled with hazardous boulders. After a year of assessment, the mission team selected a sample site named Nightingale, nestled within a northern crater that spans 460 feet 140 meters, in width. This crater is believed to be relatively young, with freshly exposed regolith, consisting of rocks and dust. This promised a pristine sample of the asteroid, providing the team with valuable insights into Bennu's history. On October 20th, 2020, OSIRIS-REx deployed its robotic arm and executed a first-of-its-kind maneuver for NASA, briefly touching down on asteroid Bennu to collect dust and pebbles, a technique known as touch-and-go or tag. Two days later, the mission team received images confirming the spacecraft had collected more than the required amount of material, at least two ounces, 60 grams of Bennu's surface material. On October 28, 2020, the team sent commands to the spacecraft to seal the sample capsule, marking the successful conclusion of one of the most challenging phases of the mission. On April 7, 2021, OSIRIS-REx conducted its final flyover of Bennu and began the gradual departure from the asteroid. During this flyby, OSIRIS-REx observed Bennu for 5.9 hours, covering more than one full rotation of the asteroid. It came within 2.1 miles, 3.5 kilometers of Bennu's surface, the closest approach since the tag sample collection event. Images taken during the flyover showcase the aftermath of this historic encounter with the asteroid. At 4.23 p.m. EDT on May 10th, the spacecraft fired its main engines at full throttle for seven minutes, marking its most significant maneuver since arriving at Bennu in 2018. This burn propelled the spacecraft away from the asteroid at 600 miles per hour, approximately 1,000 kilometers per hour, setting it on a 2.5-year journey back to Earth. 
After completing two orbits around the Sun, OSIRIS-REx reached Earth on September 24, 2023. The capsule containing pieces of Bennu separated from the rest of the spacecraft and entered Earth's atmosphere. The capsule safely parachuted to the Department of Defense's Utah Test and Training Range in Utah's West Desert, where scientists retrieved it. The OSIRIS-REx spacecraft fulfilled its primary mission by delivering the sample of asteroid Bennu to Earth, although it did not land on Earth. It has now embarked on a new mission with a new name, OSIRIS Apex, OSIRIS Apophis Explorer. The spacecraft will explore Apophis, an asteroid roughly 1,200 feet, approximately 370 meters, in diameter, which will come within 20,000 miles, 32,000 kilometers, of Earth in 2029. So what do you think the Earth will destroy by an asteroid or World War III? Leave your thoughts down below.